So the next part of the build is going to be the actual backpack itself, of which is referred to as the Dark Matter. And uh, first up, we'll take this part here, followed by this, it goes like that. And then this part here, it goes into place like so. Now there's a sticker that goes here, but I'll put it on later. And I have this unit that goes here, followed by this. But first we need to put... We need to put this part here. Then this... Oh, that goes here, I'm sorry. So it looks like that. There's another, um, yeah, so it, there's, an, there's a couple of uh, stickers I have to put on, but again, I'll do that later. Um, then we'll need a ball cap. Um, that goes on to this. Actually, we gotta do it twice. Now we have this little part here, followed by these things. There we go. So it looks like that. It goes into the bottom like so, followed by these two parts that goes here. One goes there, and the other one goes there. Cool little stand there. Then we have this, followed by this, so it looks like that. I'm going to do that four times. And then we got to take out the two ball caps here. One goes there. And the other one goes there. Now, taking this, we take this, we put this here, give it a nice little red trim part, followed by both of these, if one goes here, the other one goes there, and we repeat the process. Now, I'm looking at this, there's also this part, and then one goes like that, the other one goes here. Goes like that? No. Oof. Oh, it goes like this. Okay. And that close into place like so. Now we take this. Put that there. 
this. Put that there. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, that's kind of unique. How it's set up. And I thought we we're not going to use all the ball caps, but I guess we do have to use all them all up. Now, if I had the desire to paint this, I can. I do see some areas that I, you know, I could pretty much try to paint it, paint it. But not that I don't want to do it. It's just that uh, I'm gonna focus my time on painting other kits, preferably for Comic Con. Once I get that done, then I work on other smaller kits. Probably when I get my hands on the um, Exia Amazing. There we go. Alright, so with that, we take this, put one here, and then we put the other here. And there you have it. The booster pack of the Dark Matter, I believe, is complete. I want to double check this to make sure everything's fine. Yeah, I kind of like this little stand here. Pretty cool. Alright. Alright, so let's now move on to final assembly. Alright, moment of truth. Now it's finally time to put together this kit and see what it looks like. First up is going to be the legs. Come on, get in there. And then you have to flip this one down like that, bring this about like so, and then close all this like that. Put that in here like so. And then we have this that goes here. Darn, this thing comes up really... Ah, uh, yeah, this is basically the same BS with the Exia, where you gotta put it in like that, and this. And take the whole thing apart. And this thing comes off pretty easy. It's a high grade, what do you expect? Uh, oh, oh wow, where the hell did I... Don't tell me I lost a part. I really hate that. I was avoiding to glue it, but, you know, what are you going to do? But anyway, here it is, the Dark Matter. The Exia Dark Matter, now complete. I can see the reasons why Prime 92 liked this kit. I can see the reasons why a lot of people like this kit. The backpack is very unique, cool. I wonder if the backpack doubles as a stand, as a support stand. I guess maybe if you do it right. Yeah. So yeah, take a look at that. Pretty cool. I like that. Ah, the hell just came off right now. Oh, the beam. The uh, not the beam. The uh, thingy. You know what? Let's try this now. So let's put the arm, the hands of the, of the weapons. See how it looks. So I'm 
goes there. And then this one goes here. Come on. So now we need to remove this. Take out that. And take out this hand. Put that here. And then take out this and put this here. There we go. I kind of dig these swords, pretty nice. And I can, you can pose them whatever you wish. Actually, no, because the hands itself that grips the swords are in this position, so you can probably position them, but it's going to be very, very limited to its pose. It has that, that, uh, that, uh, what do you call that? That guy from Star Wars. Uh, Dooku's positioning of, the, of his, um, of his, um, beam savers. But, yeah. That's pretty much it. So, there it is. The 144 scale high grade Exia Dark Matter from the Build Fighters first season animated series. Really nice, really cool. Very simple. I can see um, that if anybody wants to paint it, which I think I've seen maybe one or two people paint some kits like this. It's it's pretty simple along the lines of the backpack, which can be painted pretty well. And then, of course, portions of, you know, a lot of parts here. Um, I know that there, there was a sticker that I had to put in the back. That was one. Some stickers in, mainly here on the on this. But other than that, it's virtually not that many stickers to, to detail it up. Um, and I know that people probably have taken this and already converted it into the... Uh, XE Amazing, which now the high grade is coming out in, in the next month or two. But yeah, I really like this. It's this really nice. <sighs> Alright, this is pretty cool to build a straight build like this. Um, my voting is still going. And I see some, someone, uh, I see one kit in the lead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give, I'm going to do another build and then get ready for me to work on my next kit. So, with that being said, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. Take care.